Hello guys, this is Sharun here from 24-7 Techie and in this video I am going to show you guys the Sony Xperia Z5. So as you can see this is the same phone that we got, went hands on uh, at the launch event. A friend of mine got his review unit and I am uh, borrowing the unit for, from him to make a couple of videos and as you can see the, the unit is uh, looking very good and it is gold in color. You can see the Xperia engraving, it really looks good, I can surely tell you that and uh, the design language of the Xperia line has always remained the same. This is the fingerprint sensor uh, incorporated with the lock screen, these are the volume keys and the shutter button and the uh, camera button is uh, down and as you can see the volume keys are uh, placed a little bit awkward. not easily uh, approachable but uh, they've got uh, they've went with a different design language with the volume keys and tried something new this is the camera key that they they've uh, put in it's really good it's really handy just uh, press it for a couple of seconds then a quick snap easy quick and simple and that's done this was the fingerprint sensor so you do need to press it once and then do it so i am pressing it and nothing is happening so you need to unlock the phone or switch on the phone and then scan your finger like this and now it's done so this is not the best implementation that they could have done and uh, i have pressing the phone and nothing is happening so you do need to lift a finger lift once and then uh, press it so not very accurate not very nicely done but yes the, imp the starting of a good implementation so not uh, very handy because we need to press the key once and then uh, again unlock it and it's a two step process where some phones are now having a one step process which is which saves some time not a lot of time but some time is also very crucial in longer run so this is a snapdragon 810 processor it is actually running on 2.0 gigahertz and i did click a, a pick uh, with it that it's running on 2.0 gigahertz not uh, on 1.6 gigahertz so there are uh, two sets of crates so the this crate is running on 1.96 or 2 gigahertz and the other crate is running on 1.6 gigahertz so uh, on cpu z it usually shows shows at 1.6 gigahertz sometimes there is a little lag on the uh, device not a lot sometimes not a lot and it is uh, powered by android 5.1.1 and storage out of the box is about 20 gigs but they have installed a lot of things with apps and all but system only taking 10 gigs so out of 32 10 gigs for the system about you get about 20 22 gigs so sd card and uh, usb otg everything is supported even miscellaneous transfer from sd card is also supported so as you can see a lot of apps are pre-installed with sony sony apps gameloft apps and a lot of things uh, mount comeback 5 is also pre-installed and you do get a lot of offers in india and I won't be going with each and every offer but uh, you do get a lot of offers with these. So I did run the N2 benchmark and it scored about uh, 52,000 which was pretty decent. So Snapdragon 8 and uh, performance does fluctuate and 52,000 is sort of an average. So you could see a little bit of lag over here and uh, 52,000 is okay. So RAM free out of the box uh, after using it for a couple of hours it's about 1.4 gigs so ram is free but uh, there's still a little bit of lag not a lot so there needs to be a software update uh, coming soon hopefully it fixes uh, everything and these are the mini these are the small apps that they have uh, included and it is a nice fluctuative uh, inclusion not a lot of uh, things are there but uh, it is nice to see something like this so like you can see a music app also uh, floating around so the samsung floating apps and sony's small apps similar lg also had uh, a similar thing so nice to see these things uh, included i did click some pics uh, yesterday and early morning and uh, I, as you can see some pics like these and it was the autofocus is actually very good These are the pics that I clicked from moving traffic, a couple of my friends as well and it turned out to be good. So the, this is a nice implementation of the video that they are doing. So without even pressing it surely tells you what's in the video without the audio so that no one gets disturbed and if we press on the play then only it, uh, it will come with the audio and video. 
so volume imp volume keys implementation if you are holding it like this is better and it's on our index finger but uh, but when we are holding it uh, other uh, other ways it's not that really good And for the front camera, it's a wide angle camera as you can see uh, a lot of guys can come and uh, I'm trying to shoot this video and it does looks good. And uh, if we if we try to zoom in the camera, we can surely see that the camera really looks good and uh, the and there's no graininess or anything. So nice nicely done by Sony in this point of view also. And there was a little bit of slowness in uh, slowness in the transmissions, so I am not really a very big fan of the Sony UI after using this phone for a couple of hours. And I am not really very happy with the implementation of the fingerprint sensor. As you can see, it just takes a couple of seconds to read, and not the best thing uh, in the market and not a great implementation but the idea is good not a great implementation so as you can see this is a dual sim phone and i took out the sim card tray, tray earlier on and uh, i've noticed something that uh, if we put in the sim card tray or take out the sim card tray any one of those the phone will get restart as i've just put in the sim card tray and the phone just got restart without even anything asking anything so this is not really very good and uh, there is also a memory card slot with it which supports up to 200 uh, gigs of uh, memory cards if any time it's available but uh, the phone is booting up again not really very good so thank you guys for watching this video this was Sharon here from 24 7 techie showing you guys the sony xperia z5 dual do subscribe to our channel because we really need subscribers and you can help us a lot through that red subscription button and i really hope to see you in my next video